Hola, so in this video we are going to talk about how to import Invato Element Template Kit to WordPress website. So if you are new here, we we'll talk about business tools and social media marketing tools. So without wasting the time, let's just get in the video. And this is the template kit. I have already downloaded it. So it is just built with Elementor. And so first of all, what I recommend you for installing the template kit is to first install the Hero Elementor. So just go to appearance and install your hero elementor first of all and then go to plugins and here we are just going to add the new plugin called Invato. Okay, so click install Invato element and then click activate or okay, so after installing Invato element then just locate it here so we are going to click on install the kit so if you want you can import kit from Invato element or you can just download it and you can upload it here so because i have already downloaded it i'm just going to upload the zipped file here so this is our zipped file can it so first of all we are going to install all the requirement plugins so these are the installment you might need to first install so click install now and install all above requirement so these are the a plugins that are just going to help you optimize your website so and everything so as you can see that one plugin just failed to be installed so we can just install that later so and first of all we are going to install the global kit style so or we can just go to plugins and first insert the field plugin. So open in the new tab. So locate the plugin that was not yet in installed. So just activate it. Okay, so after activating the J Elementor kit, then go back and now we are just going to insert all these um, some of the needed templates. So first of all, we are going to insert the global kit style. So so that we can get the style of our, our template. So then click import the home page about us as well. Service, we're gonna need this, contact us. So I'm just showing you this as a demo. So I uh, can just import whatever I want. And then we need the header and the footer template. So wait for them to be imported or them. So they have been imported well. So then we're just going to create our first page so click on the pages now and just click add the new page but in the new tab going to be our home page so we are just going to name it the home page home and click edit with elementor okay so now we are in the elementor editor now then click on the the template folder now so click on this file and go to template my template and choose the home page so you can even review the template you are going to install if you want so click insert click apply and wait for a few seconds to load so our home page now is already installed so then click on the page settings now make sure that the page layout is with the elementor full width not with elementor canvas and then click add title and then that's it you can just click publish and as you can see our home page doesn't have a menu the menu the header page and also we don't have the footer Page. so we are just going to first create our header and the footer so go back to your wordpress dashboard and all right so first of all we are just going to customize our home page click on the customize appearance and customize all right so on the next step here we are just going to choose the, the home page settings and make sure that the static we choose the static page and on the home page select the pay the home and then after that click publish and then click close 
So if you can visit our website now, you can just see that we have our home page already on the website without the header and the footer. So we are just going to create our header and the footer now. So go to your WordPress and on the appearance, click menu. So now we are just going to make our first menu here. So click on the main menu and you can just choose from here main menu and click on the header and create your first menu and you can just add a whatever you want if you have any pages so just that you want to add to your menu click on the add to menu and click save changes and then after that we're just going to see how a menu look like now so if you can see this is our menu look, looks like now and you can see that it is not well optimized so we're just going to optimize it with our template that we have downloaded so let's go to jake elementor kit and click on the header and here click on the template create a header template and you can just rename your the template title so i'm just going to leave it like this and click on the add condition and you can just choose some locations where your menu will just be yeah, added to if you want a singular page or some archive page or all side so i'm just going to leave it for all the all side and um, click create template and after that click on the edit and wait for a few seconds to load. All right, so now just choose the template file and click on my template. All right, so from here, just choose the header, choose the header and click insert and apply and wait for a few seconds to load. All right, so after inserting our header now, just click publish and you can just preview how it looks like now. can see now we have an amazing optimized header now so now we have to insert our footer so this is how it looks like now without the footer so just go back and on the jk elementor kit and click on the footer and create a footer template and add a condition for all the site and click create and now just click edit okay so for the next step here we are just going to click on the add a template and click on my template and here you can just choose the footer and click insert price okay so now we have the footer for our website you can just go and edit everything as you want the social media as well and after that click publish but first of all make sure that it's just page layout is with a metaphor with and click hide title so click publish and let's review our website now preview our website now so as you can see we have a good optimized footer for our website so now that we have everything that we need for starting a website editing so you can just go ahead and edit everything as you want and if you want to add more pages please remember to like the video and subscribe so that you don't miss any more other